I don't know if you recently watched the new media, but that's pretty much what they're talking about. 1,370 migrants have died. The fake news effect. There are snipers on every corner. Strong anti-immigrant measure. Climate change is getting worse. Human form of mad cow disease. I just want to kill myself. And that would be a shame because we have never in the whole history of humanity lived better. And things are actually getting better no matter what you see on the news. As this year is ending, we can be grateful. Firstly, because we have internet access, which wasn't the case just 40 years ago. And secondly, because we're gonna be enjoying this internet for quite some time. If you are over 30, well, just 200 years ago, you would most likely be dead by now, since the global lifespan in the 18th century was 29 years. Today, it is 70 and closer to 80 if you live in the Western countries. There are a couple of reasons for that, and let's firstly mention the fact that we are probably living in the most peaceful era ever. I mean, just think about the history classes back in school. It was just wars, revolutions and rebellions. People were fighting for land, women, food and so on. Today, deaths from war are super low. And while there are still wars, there are fewer than in the past. Same goes for violence in general. There are less homicides, less violent crimes, and less nuclear weapons. We also live longer because there is less hunger and less poverty, by far, compared to our history. The percentage of people living in extreme poverty on less than $1.9 a day went from nearly 30% in 1987 to under 11% in 2013. And while we still see hungry children from Africa in UNICEF ads, there is less and less of them. The level of hunger decreased from 27% between 2000 and 2017. Thank God! And thank UNICEF! We are also getting healthier. There is less HIV and AIDS. More people have access to malaria bed nets and 58% less people die globally. And thanks to vaccines, children are less likely to die of measles and tuberculosis. Child mortality has fallen for more than 50% compared to the year 1990. Also, as women get more educated, the number of children they give birth to is decreasing, which means better life of their infants as well as 43% less death among mothers during childbirth. Literacy is up too. Actually, today we cannot even imagine not being able to read which wasn't the case just 150 years ago. Back then, 20% of all adults around the world couldn't read. And if we talk just about black people, this percentage climbs up to 80%. Democracy is on the rise as well. Just 100 years ago, democracy was rare, and most people lived under some kind of dictatorship. Today, over 50% of all of us are living in democracy. And while it is not all pink unicorns and butterflies, democratic governments are less likely to go to war against each other or slaughter their own people. Democracy is also into keeping people happy and to giving them a choice to choose their own leaders, which isn't always the case with other systems. And let's end this video like we started it, talking about our advantages like the internet. We have easy access to the world's information and an ability to share any information with people all around the world, no matter the distance and location. We can communicate globally for free or at least very few money. We don't have to be billionaires to have access to the modern technologies, and we don't have to travel by horse for days to reach a nearby town. Lastly, while we are making some bad choices when it comes to ecology, the solar energy is getting cheaper, and that is something that we should definitely be excited about. Actually, solar and wind energy are cheaper than gas and oil. And while we don't see that so much in the media, the truth is that we can still limit the human impact when it comes to the climate change. Yes, we tend to focus on the soon-to-come apocalypse, but the truth is that a lot of us are actually fighting against climate change and the picture might not be as dark as we seem to believe. But that's a topic for another video, so be sure to subscribe not to miss it. If you enjoyed the topic we discussed today, like the video and share it. And see you in the next one. Bye bye!